Hey Scorpios, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another June love reading for you. So this will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. And those of you who are cross watchers connected to Scorpios, all right, this can resonate for you as well. So before we close out the month of June, I wanted to see what was going on for you guys in love, what's coming in, who's coming in, what's, what's surrounding you, love related, love energy wise. Um, and so that's what I'm going to get into. All right. Keep in mind, these are um, general messages. Take what resonates, Scorpios. Leave what does not. All right. Let's see what we have for you in love. What messages are coming through for Scorpios in love. Thank you. All right. We have trust in the reverse. All right. Okay. I got two. They almost fell, but didn't. Security and friendship. All right, and what else do we have for Scorpios? I'm going to do that again. Um, Somebody's trying to get back into your good graces. Somebody is trying to get back with you. Support, yeah. Um, I feel like this person, uh, th if they're supporting you, showing up for you, like calling and checking in on you, it feels genuine. Yeah, because rejection in the reverse. I don't feel like you guys are... Um, investing right now in this person romantically so they're trying to like stay in your life in some way and i feel like they're they just have to be satisfied with being your friend um it feels like you're friend you friend zone someone but they are genuinely trying to stay in your life to prove to you that they can be trusted right at some point because it doesn't feel like you're trusting them right now it actually feels like you are rejecting them i even have spark in the reverse at the bottom so a lot of you are no longer attracted to this person especially if they were someone who um had a had a hard time being honest with you um even you know more than that maybe cheated on you betrayed you in some way but i do feel like they are trying to show up for you in a lot of ways all right so this trust in reverse feels like um you are connected to someone who does still love you okay i will say that they still love you um i feel like they feel terrible that they broke your trust terrible that you are disappointed in them. Um, and I feel like that's why there's some effort on their part to stay connected to you. Yeah. The 10 of cups. I mean, I feel like this person always wants to remind you, you know, just how special you are to them, how much you feel like home to them, how much you could represent family and a good positive partner, right? Maybe they didn't appreciate it at the time, but they feel like they're trying to appreciate it now because they feel like they still love you. Yes. Yeah, King of cups confirmed even that 10 of cups. They still love you. All right. So that's your main message coming through. Um, this person, uh, knows that they broke up, you know, your happy home your happy connection. All right. They lost your trust. You lost faith in them. And so, um, that was kind of weird. Hold on guys. <laughs> so this thing like flipped across the room. All right. Um, a lot of you don't want to hear it. <laughs> all right. I've never had that happen before, but a lot of you are like, I don't even want to hear it. So this person definitely feels like they have some explaining to do. Um, or they have a long way to go, right? I do feel like they love you, right? That comes through, but, um, I just don't feel like a lot of you are convinced that this is, well, King of Pentacles. They're trying to convince you because you are not convinced. And you're kind of like, why do I need you, right? Yes, you can check up on me. Yes, you can call me occasionally. Yes, we can, you know, do pleasantries. But a lot of you are really confident and content where you are in your life, right? You feel very self-sufficient. You feel like you're doing well. You feel like money is going right. You feel like your health is going well. Um, there are just some things that you may not have been experiencing when you were with this person that you're experiencing now, and you don't want that to change. And so if this person um, was in your life and they were playing games, when they had you now they're trying to be this upstanding man or woman to you you're kind of like i don't know if i if i care anymore right so i do feel like this is somebody who's trying to prove their loyalty to you because they do still love you i want to get one more on that king of pentacles you have a taurus here for some of you capricorn virgo yeah they're trying to prove their loyalty to you queen of pentacles they want you back 
They are doing everything in their power, Scorpio, or they are about to, to prove that you are the one still for them. <laughs> All right. So that can come in many forms. But with this support, what I do feel like the form is coming in mainly is tangible things, right? You need me to help you put together this table. Um, do you need me to take the car? Like they're trying to like run errands for you. They're, they feel like they're trying to be involved in your life in some way to make it so that it's not as easy to kick them out of your life. Life, right security here this is somebody that like cheats on you or somebody that does you wrong when they have you but um the moment you disconnect from them and you break up with them right they start doing all the things you wanted them to do so it really feels like you have somebody here coming in or somebody around you right now who wants to prove to you that they're here for the long haul even if that means they have to put up with being rejected by you for a while um they want to prove to you that they are the one for you still page of wands i feel like this is how you guys see them um somebody who's not even on your level right now that's why they are going so hard with that king of pentacles energy trying to prove you are their queen of pentacles because some of you have already said you know we can be friends we can be cool you know but you know especially if you have kids with them right but for the most part you have friend zone them and so they feel like how do i get out of this place this friend zone place right how do i get back into you know back into relationship with Scorpio nine of cups because that's what they really want they want to be back with you so you may get a um, text from this person they're going to say something like I know I didn't deserve you but I feel like we have a we can I have another chance or something like that I've been praying about it I've been talking to my mentor my my preacher um, something like that. And I feel like we still need to be together. That's coming through a two of cups energy. Um, for those of you that don't have kids or like property with this person, they want that with you still. Okay. That's, that's their security, right? That's how they, you know, lock you in their life. They sort of, you know, create these things with you that are permanent. That's what they want. So friendship, they'll take it, <laughs> but they definitely want more than that from you. All right. Let's see what we have with friendship for Scorpios. Yeah. They see you as the woman of their dreams, the man of their dreams, the person they always wanted to be with. So it's not going to be easy for them to just see you as a friend. They see you as so much more to that. They're still attracted to you. They still find you sexy. You still could be, you know, outdoing them as far as the competition. I mean, outdoing, you know, other people as far as the competition goes. So nobody is surpassing you. Um, Leo here, Aries, Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles. This person is really trying to offer you like a new beginning. Like I'll do anything you say, Emperor. I'll be exactly who you need me to be. I'll even marry you. You know, some of you may have somebody go to those lengths just to prove that you are the person that they want to be with. Let's see why we have this Ace of Pentacles with friendship. Um, they can't be a, your friend. Like, they're still too attracted to you. That's definitely clear. But yeah, they're on timeout. Four swords. It's not up to them. It's up to you guys. They're on timeout. Um, and this is you guys, the tower, kind of, you know, trying to tell them to stay in their lane. Um, you know, if they want to be in your life, this is what, this is what they're designated to your friend, somebody you can call to put things together, right? To fix things, to build things. So I feel like this person is definitely trying to prove to you that they can be more than that. But again, this, they're on timeout. Um, even if they do still have feelings for you, Scorpio, a lot of you are, are healing still from some of the things that they did to you and you're finding peace with the past. And so you feel like it's not best to rush back into something. Thing, especially with this person um support this feels genuine right this feels like it's coming through as anything you need they got you um yes they do want something else <laughs> ten of wands in reverse i'm not even doing reversals in this deck but here it is so this is coming through as they are trying to make up for the things they did to you in the past 
those bridges that they burned with you in the past, they're trying to make up for it with that support. Now they're going hard, right? If you guys are like, you missed my graduation, you missed my birthday, you didn't show up for me when this happened. They're like, hey, do you need me for anything? I don't want to be, you know, I'm, I'm done, you know, sort of being lazy and, and not showing up for you. Nine of Wands, they are really putting up a fight here. They are really taking a last stand for this connection. What is this nine of wands? Um, this person feels like they would do anything for you. There we go. King of cups. There's your reading. This person loves you still. That's it. That's why they would do anything for you. Um, they don't feel okay without you. They feel lonely. They feel the void in their life. Five of pentacles. They want you back. This person will even say, I need you back, right? So you're rejecting them right now. You're friend zoning them right now. But this person is definitely trying to come back into your life in a romantic sense, all right? So that is what I have for you, Scorpios. Thank you so much for um, tuning in. Uh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.